history from one championship to the start of another season. The funny thing about it is, with the quick turnaround, there's some teams, Stu, by the time they tee it up here in a couple of weeks, for real, it'll be almost 300 days since they played a regular season game. Now, oh, Lakers open up the fourth in a zone. Kind of maybe caught the Clippers by surprise. Yeah. They end up with a ill-advised three-pointer. Yeah, it's good to try out some things. And, of course, every team sprinkling in zone, some more than others. Saw quite a bit, a bit of it against the Lakers during the playoffs last year. Last time we were here, you might recall, second week in March, as again it's Harold forcing his way in for the easy bucket. And last time we were here was the game against Brooklyn. Uh, second week in March, where AD missed the three to win the game. But oh, did he make up for it in the playoffs with that game winner and then yelling Kobe after he made the shot. One of the great shots in we go down to Laker Lore. Harold. Leave it for Kaycock. We're in the second minute of the fourth and final quarter. We'll be with you again. 5.30 on Sunday here on Spectrum Sportsnet. Montrez. I won't go down. Topped by Kaycock, but collected by the Clippers. It's a good little runner. By Ford. That one the bigs just hate to see that shot. Jordan Ford. At it. Next thing you know, they got a torn laser. Yeah, Jordan can score. At least he could in college. Led the WCC last year in points per game. Was 12th in the nation, Stu. Taylor Hort Tucker to the rim. Gavin Kelly's got the rebound. He was the last line of defense. That time Taylor again showed the ball a little too soon. And that why he was challenged so easily. Yeah, Fiondu made a, a good stand defensively. Ford misses. The only man there to take the rebound is Kalen Horton Tucker. Going to be no rookies for the Lakers this year on this uh, roster. Be a veteran lineup and bench. You know that last shot that uh, Montrez missed? Look at Patrick Beverly. Well, that's not new. <laughs> uh, a lot of bark and not a lot of bite sometimes for Patrick. Well, they were so close last season. And oh, now you know they're going to oh, hit yeah. each other as much as they can. Yeah. That's, that's, that's just fun. Pat Beverly admitted that he was shocked when he heard that Trez was moving to the purple and gold. <laughs> Beverly is the quintessential athlete. Yeah, I hate him unless he's on your side. I mean, absolutely. He's just that guy. There's a teardropper, and there it is again, Ford. And they open up a six-point lead after the Lakers took a, a one-point advantage. 67-61. Of course, these two teams, you know, going back-to-back -back in games. We'll see a lot of that during the regular season as Trez is fouled. You know, to cut down on travel and for a lot of teams, you're going to have uh, two game sets. Quite a bit. Lakers have uh, like three or four of them, I think, in the I think they have first two four or first half. Yeah. I know they play Memphis. They got three. They got uh, Houston. Oh, yeah. I know they have Memphis. Uh, yeah, I think there's three the sets one. of two. Yeah. yeah. Not a bad idea. Yeah. And you're going to play each Eastern team home and away. Uh, and then you're going to play your own conference three times. Uh, some teams two at home, so, one on the way, and vice versa then. Well, Montrez is shooting these free throws. Uh, yes, sir. One of the officials, Derek Richardson, went on to. A shout out to the students and teachers at 54th Street at Windsor Hills and at K. Anthony Elementary School. I love it. It's been tough. Virtual learning. I know. It's, uh, it's got to be tough. Tough on the kids. Tough man. on the kids. Yeah, I know. Tough, wanna... on, the, tough on the parents, yeah. too, because <laughs> the kids are smarter than the parents. Oh, they're, oh. they're trying to help them, and they can't. But you want those experiences to actually be at the school. Here's oh, absolutely. 67 63. And someday we will get that answer. Yes, Ty Bowman running the show on top. Left wing, Kevin Kelly. Bowman with the right handed dribble. He'll pull up for 17. Again, Bowman from Boston College. Montrez in deep. Boy, he and Kevin Kelly got a nice little battle going on. Look out. And that was Bowman to leapfrogging the, the chairs. Or no, it wasn't. It was, uh, it was a Tucker. Ray John Tucker. 
Ball be out of bounds, Quinn Cook. Do the last one to be added to the roster. Catch, shoot, Kuzma. Well done. Kyle Kuzma smooth from the baseline. Kuz has eight. Tough night shooting of three for 11 for Kuz. Tough night shooting for yeah, everybody. Why not? Yeah, 34%. Both teams did about 30. Both teams did about 35%. We'll see if they give a better offensive showing on Sunday at 5.30. Long shot. Going to be three free throws after the foul by Kuzma. And the aforementioned Tucker will be shooting. That's a momentum foul there. Cal's momentum carried him into the shooter and sends him, sends him to the free throw line for three. If you were paying attention, John Tucker played in two postseason games last year, playoff games for Utah. During their time in the bubble. Boy, you just kind of forgot all about the first half of last year. It wasn't even the first half, it was the first three quarters of last year when everything was normal. And then all the months off, and then it just seemed like a, a whole different season, you know, when, when yeah. everybody got to Orlando. Yeah, it did. But it was all part of the same deal. And that's something the coaches have talked about. Uh, LeBron called it a process again this year with the new players, and it's once again uncharted waters for all these teams and all these players. Something we have uh, never experienced. You just got to roll with it. Lakers are going to roll with this shot clock. They roll it with a Kuzma from the outside. That's his fourth bucket and his first three. It's only the Lakers' fifth three tonight. Oh, the Lakers now with four players, double figures. Coffee all alone. Clippers are there, but now the Lakers will take a chance for the break. They were batting each other. I know they were. They were the only ones down there. Cook from the outside. Trez gets a hand on it. Saved. Who wants it? Montrez certainly does. Got a whistle and a foul. From beyond, and the control gets put on the head. And the foul's going to be called on Daniel Oturu uh, from the University of Minnesota, the Golden Gopher. We talked about Michael Thompson. Michael Thompson, a Golden Gopher, back in the day, long time ago. Long time ago. Oturu born in Brooklyn, went to Minnesota. That's a shoulder into the defender, and Kuzma gets fouled. You know, the defender it wasn't established, so it turned that block into a, I mean, that charge into a block. That defender took the brunt, the brunt of that contact. And that defender is Terrence Mann. I'm out. Yeah, he took it all, too. Hopefully he's okay. And he's still down flexing that left leg area. Never like to see that. Never like to see injuries in any sport. We'll come back. Lakers are down by a deuce. broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. Get 
He has played to 30 minutes tonight. Uh, he and Kuzma each tied with 30 minutes. No Clipper has played 20 minutes tonight. They have really spread it around. Lakers have only played three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. Thus, the more minutes. And then Sunday you'll probably see nine different players. Uh, you know, that's just the way preseason is. Some nights you don't play at all. The next night. You get some minutes. The coaches want to see, especially some of the French players that are trying to make teams, etc. Yep. Want to give them some looks. You know, we were talking about the home uh, series and the way series that the Lakers play, two in a row against each team. Lakers will actually have four of those in the first half. As this one is launched from outside of the rebound of Antetokounmpo, they'll have three on the road at San Antonio, at Memphis, at Houston. That's when they play two games before moving on to something else. And one at home against OKC. That OKC yeah. will be in February. It's just, uh, you know, just the schedule this year is yeah, a little different. bit different. Right. A little bit different. Laker fans, you'll get used to it. You can understand that. Again. One thing that hasn't changed is the uh, games against the East. Right. <laughs> one home, one away. Yeah, that's, that's been the way it's been for quite some time. Back in the stagecoach days when I played, you played them Three times. Was it, were there even wheels in there? Three times. The stagecoach. Listen to me. I heard. We had to fly back I, to the East Coast. I know. Three times. We had to sell it. All those times. It's like travel, 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 travel. But you got to remember. Did you play double headers? Uh, yeah. But there weren't there weren't thirty teams. I know. I know there were. <laughs> the prehistoric eight. The prehistoric eight. That's what my son used to always say. He says, "I don't want to. I don't want to hear about the stagecoach days, Dad." Seventy-two, seventy. Again, 72 games divided into two halves. Second half schedule not even out yet. Underneath, challenge that time by Kaycock and a foul. As he fouls a man who that went to a, the floor. That was a good challenge, though. Really nice challenge. Again, the coaching staff knows what these players can do for the Lakers, so they're just trying to impress a little bit more and get some time in. Kaycock and Tedekupo, etc. Clippers only 9 out of 15 from the, from the free throw line. Lakers are actually shooting 79 percent from there. Clippers had only one three-game losing streak during the regular season. And then they had a three-game losing streak when it mattered most in the playoffs. And they were eliminated by Denver. So working on some motivation, quite obviously. Kaycock, not there, stayed with it, couldn't control it. And he came up just a fingernail short he, on that little baby shot he had there. Jump shot by uh, Fiondu. Lakers and Kuzma. They've got a one-point lead. We're halfway through the final quarter. Two straight away comes up short. Again, no word on the plan on who will play on Sunday. Whether it's LeBron or AD, they may not even play then. They'll play very limited, I would assume at all during this preseason. Well, I, I think Frank Vogel has an idea of what they can do. Yeah. And again, it's a, only four preseason games. And what, they won the championship like three days ago, so it's, it's, it's all good. By the way, teams are going on the road this year. As everybody knows there's no bubble situation. Everybody will be traveling to the respective uh, arenas. We will not be doing that. 
no announcers are doing that. No national TV announcers are even doing that. Everybody is doing remote unless you're in your own building. So we are here at Staples Center when we're on the road next week. In our own cubicles. Yeah, we will be. And, uh, yeah, we're right. We're in a plexiglass cubicle right here. Here's a challenge by Antetokounmpo, but we're going to have an illegal dribble. Double dribble. Yeah, he picked it up like he's going to pass it, and then he said, ooh, nobody to pass it to. I'll start dribbling again. By the way, it's nice to have Brian back doing stats, and Danita, uh, our stage manager, next to you. Mark Shaw, the producer, Jerry Weinstein, the Dubba, directing in our great crew that we've had for many, many years, audio men and women and camera guys, everybody in the truck, welcome back. Another turnover for the Lakers. Is that turnover number 18? Yeah, the Clippers have 23. Lakers leading in points in the paint. Clippers leading in fast break points. Stats are really all over the board tonight. Players have been all over the place. Ball inside and another travel. 24th turnover. And again, you see, I hate to keep harping on this, but you see a lot of that because players, whether they they don't want to or they do, they're not taught, don't know the fundamentals. You know, everyone wants to just come out and dunk or shoot the three. There's other parts to this game that uh, you have to master before you can become the player you want to become. So coming down to crunch time in the preseason, and Horton Tucker being a go-to guy and trying to get to the basket, he's fouled. Yeah, he's, uh, he, he's taking more shots in this game than anybody who's been on the court. You know what? I know that Frank Vogel was tempted to use him during the playoffs, but since he had the, the veterans there, they were going to eat up the bulk of the minutes. But I know in the back of the mind he was thinking, I've got somebody that I can definitely use next year, and that's what he's turning into. And by the way, Frank Vogel, Stu, uh, the fourth head, fourth head coach in the last six seasons to win a title in his first season with the team. Fourth time in six years. Steve Kerr, Ty Lue, Nick Nurse, and now Frank Vogel. Over the last half dozen. So congrats, by the way, to the yeah, staff. Congrats, absolutely. Yeah, for putting in their work. But all four of those guys have been super, super stoppers. <laughs> yes, they took part of the game. Come on, yeah. Not all teams have them well, like that, though. Well, I mean, think about it. You're right, but uh, a lot of the championship coaches do. Yeah. What happened? Just ask Bill Jackson or Red Auerbach or any yeah, of those guys. talk about, you know, it's you take nothing away from the coaches. Nothing. No legal defense, so who for the Lakers will shoot the free throw? Goose just runs over there. There's Ty. Again, it'll be interesting to see the changes that he implements. I think a lot of it is managing these personalities, too. Take what you can and take what you want to believe about the Clippers last year, but, you know, we're, we're, that it wasn't all harmonious all the time. And I'm not playing any of that on Doc at all, but uh, I think part of this, being a professional coach, is managing your personalities. There's Kawhi. He basically runs that franchise. Best in the world, Kawhi Leonard. Kalen Fort Tucker counted. Foul and one. THT doing it again. Yeah, getting into the paint. He just, he's a rim seeker, boy. He just gets the ball and says, I'm coming to the paint. What are you going to do to stop me? They don't stop him until too late. He gets the basket and the foul. Three point opportunity. Player of the game. I think he's headed towards that. Yeah. 17 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, perfect in free throws, 6 for 17 for the floor, 33 minutes. And his team's up by 1. Now the Lakers can call for an illegal defense in the zone. They're playing a zone. <laughs> Just got to keep your feet out of the paint if there's nobody close. You know, in some respects, one of the hardest championships you will ever win, being in the bubble. But then again, you don't have to go through any visiting arenas. 
uh, the fans, the travel, all of that other stuff. So, you know, it's a little bit of a give and take. But what an experience it was for anybody who was there. They'll have tales to tell for many years. Fort Tucker. Fleck Fort Lakers tied at 77. Ooh, nearly slipped into the split. Kuzma. Kick. Porter. Cook. Three. Yes, sir. Quinn Cook and the Lakers have the lead. Quinn to seven. Quinn puts his hands up like five time. That's his first from long distance. He's now three out of ten overall. Lakers have hit six triples tonight. Cutting. Good pass to the corner. Yandu misses it. Saved by Kaycock. So the Lakers with the ball, but still over three minutes remaining. Gordon Tucker. He's going to get to the paint. Ton of confidence. Throw it up. Would have counted. <laughs> oh, another look at that last basket by the Lakers. Quinn Cook. Who's with the assist? Quinn says, come on, you know I can shoot better than three out of ten. Points to Coos and says, thank you for the delivery. By the way, a little bit of a shout out to Laker owner Jeannie Buss. I know her dad was first and foremost on her mind when they won it in the bubble. I mean, the first Laker championship without Dr. Buss around um, after going back to back, back in uh, about a decade or so ago. And it's just a, a new piece of, 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 of a beautiful trophy on her mantle now. And I know, you know, when it happened, she it, it meant so much to her because of her father and what her dad has meant to this community. Yeah, championship bloodlines. So yeah, that, absolutely. She's a champion because she's from champion. Fort Tucker really taking charge in this one. He's got his sights on a 20-point game. Yes, he does. He's got 19 with three minutes to play. You just get one more board, and it's a double-double. Here in the lead lifter of the preseason. Double dust. They've got him in a phone booth. What's he going to do? Three seconds. That's what's happening. It's a turnover. The 26th on the Clippers. And with that, we've got a timeout. Like you said, under three minutes left in preseason game number one at the Lakers. Up by five. season that he expected, everybody else expected. But, you know, he's learning the game again, how to be a contributor in other areas. Tonight, 
He's offensively, you know, he's got 15 points. He's shooting very well. Uh, four out of 14 from the field. But he's had a couple of nice plays where he's made his teammates uh, an easy yep. basket. So that's the growth of young players where they just continually uh, experiment with areas of the game that they need to work on. The former Ute from the University of Utah, Kyle Kuzma, five assists tonight, nine points in the fourth quarter, and complemented well by Kalen Horton Tucker, who is going to be a problem for some folks down the line. You know, you talked about the Lakers only playing nine players tonight. Yes, sir. <laughs> the Clippers have played 18. 18 of them. <laughs> 18. Cook from this corner. That's good defensive play and blocked. Bowman got a hand on it. Two and a half to go. Yeah, Lakers up by five. Of course, the regulars on the bench hoping that these guys can close it out. These two teams meet for real on the 22nd. It's a good offensive rebound and the slam throwdown. Two hands. So often happens if you're going to play zone, you're going to give up offensive rebounds. It's really difficult to always match up. Atoru with the dunk. Stumbling. For Tucker, but they save it to Quinn Cook with under two minutes to play. They'll reset with Kuzma. Gets a pick by Kaycott. With three, with two. Kuzma off the dribble to score. Right in the face of Fitz. Cruz with 18. THT with 19. 85-79. Just a minute and a half left. Move Horton Tucker off the basketball. Little pump fake. Ten footer is good. That's Terrence Mann. He's Terrence. played 21 minutes. Terrence got himself under control uh, off to the dri- after the dribble and made a nice little baby jumper there. Two possession game. Score here would go a long way to sealing the W here in the first preseason. Effort. Horton Tucker wants to get to the basket again. Drive, kick, Kuzma. He can't finish that one. It was well set up, though, by Horton Tucker. At the other end, got to dig in and play a little defense, but it's dribbled straight out of bounds. They won't even get a shot away with now under a minute to play. Yeah, now with the basket by the Lakers, it could just about ice this one. Victory in their first preseason game. These young kids trying to impress their coaches. Get back into the rhythm, the swing of things, but to them, obviously, it feels just like us. A couple of weeks since the title was uh, won by the Lakers. But the coaches have been in the office uh, all every day. Yes, <laughs> oh, yeah, no lot since the season ended. It's not like you can go anywhere. Underneath, look at that block. Why swat it down? Goaltending, though. <laughs> and give the basket to Kaycock. That secondary defender, he came Ooh. out of nowhere to, to get that one. Boy, that's, I don't know what angle the official had, but that was a good block to that's me. Toru, who got up there, Daniel, the 6'10", was Big Ten all-defensive team. Right. While he was in Minnesota, and you can see why. I mean, he showed some hops on the defensive end. Are they, are they challenging you? in the preseason? Part of the speed on what all the things you can review. Or can you? Can you I, missed that, I missed that call. I missed that call the other day. <laughs> there was a call? I think so. I hope. Oh, nobody told me. And that's the truth. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Corelli. Last play is being reviewed by a And it is being reviewed. What do you think? It looked first, like, it looked like a good chance. block. Okay. It looked like a good block. Just a minute. Anyway. This is your first chance at. Uh, the old replay. I don't know what your percentage was last year. It wasn't not great. It was not, not great. Not good at all. I'm not proud to say that either. Get the game clock to 37.9. 37.9. No stop. What did they rule? They rule, Coach? So I, my first one and I missed. Oh, for one. I'm keeping track this year. Let me read That's that. That's why. No, don't keep track. Brian, you keep track. Okay. No, Brian, don't do that. <laughs> 87, 81. That's why I couldn't be an official. 
Admitted that. It's a fact. Half a minute to play. Six point game. Gonna stop here, it's over. Yeah, but I mean, it really seals it out the clock. Coaches has it. Lakers will get this win. And then we'll do it again with these two teams on Sunday at 5.30 here on Spectrum Sportsnet. Got the post game coming up in a moment. Don't go anywhere with that. First one of the year. They don't even have to really have a turnover, but the clocks are almost synced up. Yeah, this one is... Uh, they, got, they have to turn it over. So the Lakers will officially have 18 turnovers. The Clippers will turn it over 27 times. And ladies and gentlemen, the Lakers, fresh off the title, open up the preseason with an 87 81 victory over the Clippers. You know what's going to be interesting tonight? Maybe better than normal, but we're going to have to fight the crowd. There is no traffic. Get out of here. I'm that the might be the only good thing because we miss the fans. <laughs> and that is the truth. For Stu and Mike, I'm Bill McDonald saying so long from Staples Center where the Lakers win at 87-81. Our next telecast is Sunday when the Lakers take on the Clippers. It's at 5.30. Time now to check in with the studio for Access Sports Net Lakers, driven by our Southern California Honda dealers. Enjoy the weekend. We'll see you right back here Sunday night.